Hello and welcome to Cozy Languages, my name is James York and this is my own challenge of learning languages and this time I learned German through songs. Is the song Moscow by Chinggis Khan. Alright, so and let's see what I learned so far today and if you want to learn German with me and to try this method as well, well you can do this now. And uh, if you are a German speaker I want you to correct me if I make any mistake. Let's start. What I learned so far. The first phrase, the most important one, Lektion 1. So I know already two words. Moscow. Moscow. Well, now I know Moscow. Moscow. I apologize just in advance if I make any mistakes in pronunciation. Fremd und geheimniswoll. Foreign and mistress. So what do we have over here? Well, we have the word und, which is translated as and, it is very useful. Foreign and mysterious, it is quite complicated for the beginner, so I think if you want you can take this, but I personally won't take this for now because it is very difficult for me to remember. Next, geheimniswoll, so the yellow EI, this is the combination of letters that will give us the sound I. Geheimniswoll. Let's continue. Türme aus rotem Gold. Over here we have the beautiful phrase rot and gold we know the color red rot and gold gold and aus made of we'll come back to this one a little bit later kalt via das eis so once again our combination of letters ei which will give us the sound i eyes and in english we say the same word eyes so now you know that the word eyes came from german kalt cold we know the word kalt, cold, and now we need to know how we're going to say hot. And that's why I've searched for that word and it will be heiß. So, already kalt, cold, heiß, hot. Via, so via, it is translated as or like. Another useful word for us to know. Next, doch wer dich wirklich kennt. About doch and dich. I think it is quite complicated for the beginner, so we will take another word. Wer, which is translated as who, wer, and wirklich can't, really, no, wirklich, really, can't, no. It is the verb canon. Let's continue. Der weiß ein Feuer brennt. Know that there is a fire burning. So, weiß. Another verb to know. Okay, well then, what is the difference between can't and vice? We'll take it a little bit later. But before that, let's take another phrase with aus. Remember the second line, Türme aus rotem Gold. So aus, you may use also if you want to say that you are from this or that country. Ich komme aus Frankreich. I come from France, literally. Ich komme aus Frankreich. Okay, let's continue. Can't and vice. So the infinitive of these verbs are canon and wissen. And what is the difference between these two verbs? As far as I understand it, so if you are a German speaker I want you to correct me, so canon you use this word when you know something or somebody by acquaintance. For example, uh, you know this person already and you will use the verb canon. You've already been somewhere, you know this place, and you will use also the verb canon. But wissen, this is the verb that you use usually when you know something because of your knowledge, because you read it somewhere, you haven't been there, or you haven't met this person yet, you will use wissen. Just you know about this person because of books, because of TV shows, I don't know, music and blah blah blah. So canon know something or somebody by acquaintance and wissen this is your knowledge. You know about it from somewhere. Next line. India so highs. Well, we have our highs. Hot. So, so hot. So the same as in English. So, it is so. Uh, so cold. So kalt. So hot. So highs. Okay. Let's continue with the next line. Kosaken heb di glessa. Cossacks raise your glasses. Alright, hept. It is the verb haben in the infinitive to raise. Okay, very useful phrase maybe. <laughs> raise your glasses, hept die Glässer. Also, we conjugate this verb, hept, 
We'll come back to this one a little bit later. Natasha, do be schön. Natasha, you are so beautiful. So, schön, beautiful. Uh, I don't know why in English we say so beautiful. And in German we do not say du bist so schön. Remember? So, so, so kalt, so heiß, so schön. If you are a native speaker or if you speak German, tell me why schön we say so beautiful in English, but not just beautiful. And du bist, you are. So we already see our verb to be. Du bist, you are. We'll come back to this verb as well a little bit later. Uh, Tovarish auf das Leben. Comrade to life. Okay, well. And another one as well useful. Aus dein Wohl to your health. Bruder, brother. Wirf die Gläser an die Wand. Throw the glasses at the wall. And at that particular point, I started to think that dear, it is the article, and thus it is the article. And I started to search for articles in German, and I found three of them. So these are definite articles, der, which is masculine, dear, which is feminine, and das, which is neuter. And I was like, okay, well, we have three genders in German. Because in that case, the dear glass, the glasses, well, I'm not sure whether it is feminine, because, well, it may be that there is a difference in plural with articles, but do you want the wall, we can say 100% that it is the feminine. Do you want the wall? The wall is feminine. Okay, why not? <laughs> All right. Russland is ein schönes Land. Russia is a beautiful country. Okay, Russland, well, in English we also have the word land, all right, so which is literal translation like Russian land, Rusland, Russian land. And the same, by the way, goes with Deutschland, Germany, German land, Germany, Deutschland. And we have another East, so another variation of the verb to be, and ein schönes land. I'm not sure why do we have uh, schönes land. Uh, I'm not sure about this one, but ein, another interesting moment. I've understood that, okay, ein. Eins. It may be the article because in English same a n sometimes it is the equivalent of one. So I started to search for articles and I found that ein we use for masculine and neuter, so these are indefinite articles, and eine we use for feminine. In next deine Zilla ist so groß. Okay, we have another one. So remember so groß, so schön, so kalt, so heiß. Uh, your soul is vast. So, ist, again, we have our verb to be, ist. So, groß, okay, very big, vast, all right. Well, and after the word groß, I wanted to find how can we say little or small, and I found it will be klein, groß, klein. Very useful to know as well. Let's continue. Nachts, da is der Teufel los. At night, all hell breaks loose. Okay, so, nachts. At night. All right, well, no preposition, just nachts. Maybe it is plural, at nights, in general, I don't know. But, nacht, night, very useful as a word, because after that you start to think, okay, I know night, but how am I going to say all the other parts of the day? And you start with morning, morgen, then day or afternoon, tag, then evening, abend, and Night, Nacht. Another useful word for you. Let's continue with the next line. So, Liebe schmeckt wie Kaviar. Love tastes like caviar. Wir, once again, wir, like. Remember, we had a kalt wie das Eis, cold as ice, and here the same. Liebe schmeckt wie Kaviar. Love tastes like caviar or as caviar. Let's continue. Mädchen sind zum Küssen da. Girls are made to be kissed. Well, we have sind, are, another variation of the verb to be. Zum Küssen da. Okay, Küssen, I suggest that it is the verb to kiss or kissed, maybe. I'm not sure. Next. Come, wir tanzen auf dem Tisch. Come, let's dance on the table. All right, come. Okay, well, I think it is the imperative. 
we dancing, let's dance. So over here, I've taken two infinitive of the verbs to come and to dance. So to come it will be common, and to dance will be tanzen. Bis der Tisch zusammenbricht. Okay, until the table collapses. My head collapsed when I had this word because it is very complicated. And what I found so far? Well, we found four adjectives. Kalt, cold, heiß, hot, groß, big, klein, small or little. And if you want to say so, it will be so kalt, so heiß, so groß, so klein. As well, I found it Important phrase, ich komme aus Frankreich, I am from France, and verbs like kennen and wissen, so kennen when you know something by acquaintance or somebody, and wissen when you know something from books or from somewhere. Haben, to raise, kommen, to come, tanzen, to dance, and uh, articles as well, der, masculine, dear, feminine, das, neutral, Ein masculine and neuter indefinite and eine feminine indefinite and four beautiful words like morgen morning tag day afternoon abend evening and nacht night now i am going to show you some other things and these are conjugation because we had a lot of the verb to be and i wanted to learn the verb to be as well so to be will be sein and this way you will learn not only the verb, but also personal pronouns. So, let's start. Ich bin, I am, du bist, you are, informal, so you use this one with people that you know very well, du bist, er ist, he is, sie ist, she is, es ist, it is, wir sind, we are, ihr seid, uh, you are, plural, I'm not sure about uh, the formal one, because uh, German, they, in German, there is a formal one, but I'm not sure whether which one it is exactly for now. And sie sind, they are. So as you see, we have uh, ist, er, sie, es, ist, which is quite close to English is, just with one more letter, ist, is, ist. And uh, via and sie, we have the same form, sind. And that's it. And as well, I found uh, another con conjugation of some other verbs like common, dancing, heaven, canon in present simple. So, and we can take a look at this one as well. So, common, dancing, heaven, canon, how can you conjugate this verb? First of all, you need to get rid of the ending en, the ending en. So, you have com, dance, hab, can. And let's see what do you do. Ich komme, ich tanze. So, you add I at the end, in ich, next, du kommst, du tanzt. So, in that case, du kommst, you add st, and du tanzt, you add just t, maybe because uh, we have the letter z, so that's why it will be quite difficult to pronounce tanzst. Yes, like in tanzt, there is already the sound s, -s, s so maybe that's why we have no letter s additional. Next. Er, sie, es, kommt, and tanzt. Next, wir kommen, ihr kommt, and tanzt, and sie, kommen. So, this is the combination, uh, this is the conjugation of these verbs. And what can we notice over here? Well, first of all, let's start with the form of the infinitive kommen, tanz, and heaven, canon. It will have the same form in wir, Common dance and heaven canon and zia plural common dance and heaven canon and as well we can notice as well that er sie es kommt tanzt habt kennt and ihr kommt tanzt habt kennt will have the same pronunciation and the same written form as well and we will take a look at the verb wissen which is actually uh, irregular one. So, let's take a look at this one as well. So, ich weiß, du weißt. Yes, by the way, this little sign is pronounced as double S. Weiß, weißt. Er, sie, es, weißt. Wir wissen, ihr wisst. 
Sie wissen. So same as it was with common tense and have in canon, wissen has the same form as in the as the infinitive in wir wissen and sie wissen. And what else can we notice? Du. Uh, and no, actually that's it. That's it. So the form is quite irregular, and I think this one you need to learn like by heart, by heart for sure, because it is irregular. Though. And that's it. Well, it was the first day. It was such a challenge for me, but it was very interesting at the same time. So tomorrow I'm going to continue, and I will try to use the words that I already learned. For example, morgen, tag, abend, nacht, and I want to know how I'm going to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Uh, also, I will search for some other basic words, and um, so tomorrow I am going to work for 15 minutes or 30 minutes, and I am going to search for some other phrases using our words that we learned today, and the day after tomorrow I will continue with the song, and we'll see what the second part is going to give us. And thank you very much for the video. So once again, if I made any mistakes, uh, um, could you correct me? It will be it will be wonderful. And uh, do not forget, if you like the video, to push a little like button and to subscribe because it will help us to grow. And it will be such a pleasure for me to see that people are watching us and enjoying the videos that we are doing. And okay, goodbye. By the way, I need to learn how I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, bye.